Hi there, my name is George Garton and I'm a student studying 3D game art at Southampton Solent University. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a gothic Victorian style carving effect. So anyway, first off, I'm going to create a plane. Make it nice and big there. Go into edit mode, make polymesh 3D, down to geometry, turn off smoothing, and subdivide it a few times. Say about a million, should be nice and smooth, I'd say. Now we can go up to Transform, click Activate Symmetry, turn off the X and turn on the Z, and turn on Radial Symmetry. So turn up a little bit, 15 or so. So now when we sculpt, we get this nice circular effect, as you can see here. However, you see it's a little bit bumpy on the sculpting. In order to sort that out, we go up to Stroke, Lazy Mouse, and turn down the Lazy Steps quite low. Now the sculpt got some nice, smooth lines. There we are. So using this rotational symmetry, you can sculpt some really interesting patterns. Perhaps something like this will be uh, useful for those Victorian gothic style carving effects. Now, once you're happy with this, go up to Alpha over here and click Grab Dock. What this does is creates an alpha from the plane that you've been using in your document, which you can then, if we change that to Drag Rectangle, you can now drag those alphas out. As you can see here, and they can be used again and again in your other projects. Now, while that's all well and good, say you want more control over your alpha. I find the painting software Krita to be really useful for this. So with Krita open, go to File, New, Create a New 1024 Texture. Then on the left hand side, click Multi Brush. What this does is it gives us that same rotational symmetry effect that we had in ZBrush. On the side here, you can click Access Point underneath Tool Options. You can move that around. So now, when we paint, just move the uh, origin point there for the rotation. However, I'm going to move that back into the middle, roughly in the middle there. You can also change the size your brush has. You can turn that up a little bit and put it down. I'm going to keep it at about 12 or so. Now, you can see my brush is doing this soft fading off thing, which I don't really want. So, if we go up to brush settings, opacity, and turn off enable pen settings. And while we're here, we'll actually go to size. And we'll move this down, move that to about there to make a sort of linearish line. So now, when we paint, we get that nice sharp effect, which looks nice and kind of gothic y. Now, what's great about doing this in Krita is that it has a plethora of brush options, which you just saw in here. Not to mention all these options over here, so we have weighted smoothing, basic smoothing, which is kind of like Lazy Mouse and ZBrush. Now once you're happy with your alpha, simply save it out as a PNG, and then use it again in ZBrush.